once again, how the hell did I do that? This has to be over here because it drives me crazy. <sighs> Seriously annoying. Hang on. Danny. Hi, Trevor. Hi, Steven. Hold on. Let me get y'all up here. So, uh, this video comes with a warning ahead of time. We'll see how... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shh, I hate that. We'll see how uh, the internet goes uh, to see if we're really going to be able to do this or not. We'll see. Um... I will tell you that some um, Call of Duty thing dropped today. So we have one, two, three, four, five kids and or adults playing <laughs> Call of Duty tonight. So this should be interesting. Now. It's not running my I hear you, but do I see you? I don't know. Do you see me? Um, oh, I need my glasses out, too. Um, so we'll see. I don't know if this is uh, going to work tonight or not within that. They, they haven't, I don't think they've quite finished. Um, so I don't know if they're playing yet. Um, they, I had to wait until they were all done downloading the game. You love it? Oh, thank you. That was my husband's Christmas present last year and I'm still using it. So it's been, wow. I've had the same purse for over a year. Wow. That's really unusual for me. I think I have. It might be time to change purses for a while. I love my purse, but I might have to change it for a little while. All right. Hi, Haxon. How are you, honey? And Frugal Dreams and Amethyst. Hi, hi, hi. So if you guys missed last night, I just want to make sure you guys have the opportunity. Um, we have a giveaway going on for uh, the Relative Tarot, um, which we showed last night. The creator, uh, Carrie, was on and has generously donated uh, the Relative Tarot and Oracle set. Uh to us to um, use as a giveaway. Um, so if you want details, look at the video from last night. Um, thank goodness it's Friday. How is everyone? Hi, Dana. How are you, sweetie? Um, do you still not see me? You're giving your relatives away? I wish. There is certain relatives I would love to give away. Can I do that? Is that an option? <laughs> I think that would be an awesome thing if I could do it, but, you know, not sure if that's possible. All right. I don't know if I can do the braids down today or not. They're going to drive me nuts. Done with my... Oh, okay. Now you see me. Oh, good. All right. I'm starting to think something was really wrong. All right. Yeah, I don't know. It's been up too much. I can't put it down today. All right. Um, so the Oracle, I figured I'd do one quick unboxing because I'll be honest, I'm, I'm tired tonight. I like could not wait for Friday to come. I don't know about you guys. Like she isn't checking on me all day, every day. <laughs> well, I feel like I'm talking to you live here, Dana, and when we're texting, it's like texting. It could be anybody, like, saying back how you're doing. Well, I don't know if it could be anybody with some of the conversations we have, but... <laughs> <sighs> you already slept 10 hours today? <laughs> yeah, I, I do know that, that that's you. That's true. <laughs> there is not many people that... I have conversations like I have with you. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I'm I am 
overjoyed that it's Friday today for, for real. Hi, Ben. I did my moon business early because I'm done. Good for you. I still have to go outside when we're done. Um, but I figured I'd come on now when they're just starting the, um, you know, Call of Duty thing before they really get into it hardcore. Um, and then I'll go outside and, you know, they can do their Call of Duty thing anyways. Wish it was my Friday, right? My, my week just, I don't know. It's not like it was horrible. It just seemed like it was never ending. <laughs> And I was saying today to the admins, I must have done a really good job at faking it today because I got a lot of compliments on how nice I am and how personable I am. And I'm like, oh, thank you. That's so sweet. And then they'd leave and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm tired and I don't want to be here. <laughs> but some days, you know, you just got to fake it and pretend that you like everyone. You know that, Bob. Okay, so here is the box. This is called the Obsidian Oracle. You are the same way today. It's something, I'll tell you, it is something in the moon for sure. Because, like, as soon as it wasn't the new moon anymore, I, oh, I started feeling like I wanted to punch people. <laughs> Like, really, I I just have not been my normal, nice self. I mean, I've been faking it still, but. All right, this is a Kickstarter deck. Um, and I was really excited about it. And I still am, kind of. But I'm disappointed, too. And I'll show you why. Um, I... I feel bad. Like, I wonder if the creator got a deck. I can't remember. So it can affect the emotions and the psychic energies. Oh, I can see that. I, like, have been ready to punch people for, like, two weeks. On top of that, we're still in retrograde, right? Or, wait. Are we in retrograde? Or did it, does it start soon? I can't remember. I'm honestly not keeping up with it right now because I'm like, ugh. Just like I haven't done my Wheel of the Year spread yet. Like my year ahead thing. Haven't done it. Hi, Matthew. Hi, which ways? My whole life is retrograde. Oh, you ain't kidding. You have felt like that for weeks now. I have too. I don't know what it is. <laughs> You're extra moody, Ben. Oh, I, I suppose I should remember that my husband is a cancer too. So no wonder I want to punch him too. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. All right, so this is a Kickstarter deck. It's called the Obsidian Oracle. I was super happy and uh, or super excited about it. Um, and then it came, and I'm like, ah, what the hell? I I still I think the deck is going to be like a great deck to work with, kind of. But I'll show you my issue in just a second. So box is great. It's, you know, the, I really do like the, um, the magnetic closures and the hardback box. So it keeps it protected. Um, the guidebook is included. It's just like a little white book. It does have lots of information about each card. Um, <coughs> You can't breathe in the pot room? No. <laughs> Poor Frankie's like. Oh, <sighs> um, and I can't remember how many cards there are. I'm sure it says it someplace. Um, there's quite a few. And then they have moon cards, which that one I was really excited about the moon cards too. Um, so the cards are, the reason I liked it is because it has both an animal and like a crystal or an animal and an herb. Um, and their interaction together um, is seems like it was a really good idea. And I think it is. I have one problem with this deck, which I will show you. I'll get to it. Great, retrograde on February 17th, just in time for Valentine's Day, so we could tell each other how much we love each other and then turn around on the 17th and scream at one another. Yes, exactly. 
Um, so I will tell you on a personal note. Have they started yet? I'm trying not to let Peter hear me. I love Peter to death. You all know how much I love my husband. Um, but he has gone to part-time. And um, this is the second week now where he has worked two days in the week. Let me tell you, having him home in the evening is driving me crazy. You guys may have noticed that I'm, I haven't been on as much as I normally am during the week because it's hard for me to not watch our shows and stuff together and break away and be like, okay, I'm going up to do my videos. I have my thing to do and you need to back the hell off. <laughs> he... Here's the thing. He needs to be home because at least while all the kids are home because the house goes to hell and um, they're terrible at keeping the house up and I can't do it. Not when I'm working and stuff. So it's nice that he's home, but I like, we're going to have a talk this weekend. <laughs> okay. Backs of the deck, the back of the deck is gorgeous. So we have the Oberos, you know, and this time it's a double Oberos and then it forms an eye in the middle and the gold foil and stuff I like. It has gold gilded edging and a lot of people like the blingy edges. I wish that people would stick with matte a little. Mama's Maleficent purse is giving us all the side eye. I know I love her. She's just awesome. Um, I wish that people would uh, stick with the matte. Because, I don't know, I'm just not a blingy person. Plus, I'm a silver person and not really a gold person. So, when it comes out with this blingy gold, I'm kind of like, eh, it's okay. I mean, it's pretty. I'm glad it's not just regular card edges. It's a lot better than that. So, the first card, immediately you will be able to see my problem. This is Scarlet Ibis and Abalone. Ready? There it is, Scarlet Ibis and Abalone. Here's the problem. The It's actually labeled, but the label is in black on a black card. So let's see. Oh, wait, you can kind of see it there. Do you see it? It's kind of really freaking hard to read. Like, yeah, I literally, I have to do this in the light. And, and go, oh wait, yep, hold on that, right? There it is, Scarlet Ibis. So you can't see them. Yes, the True Black does have that same kind of taxi. The, and that's true. And the difference is though with the True Black, at least it was a little bit more raised. So I don't know, I can see it a little bit better. It doesn't, it doesn't mean it's perfect, but at least I can see it a little bit better. This is really difficult for my old eyes to make out. Like I am really struggling with it. Um, now, not all of the cart, look at like, here's one birch forest. That's gorgeous. And I can see that. And ah, yay, you know, I, I, I'm so disappointed because I really like the deck a lot. And I think it's going to be a great deck. So this is... <laughs> Hold on. Uh, blue Tit and Pink Tourmaline. Hi, Charity. Need the text to be clear to me. I know it. So again... Oh, wait. There it is. Hold on. There. It's going to be a tough combination with my phone and the text here. But look at how pretty the images are. And I like that there's kind of a combination and a correlation between the animal and the um, and the crystal or the animal and the herb. Or I, I really liked it. Would it help if the text was in white? I, I think so. You, you need your third eye to see that. Yes, right? I think it will be more of an issue for beginners than it would. Yes, that's true. Absolutely. I Now, I should be able to look at this once I get to know the cards a little bit 
and say, okay, I know that that is a pink tourmaline. Hi, Reese's Pieces. Um, this is, this is a, oh, Crane and Stars. So now that I know that, I should be able to pick that out, you know, once I know it. But it's going to take me a little bit to, hi, Andrea, to know the cards enough that I don't have to, like, Again, here's another one. Now, I don't understand why some of them are in black and some of them are not. How did she choose, like, which ones to be in black? See, like this one? I can see that great. I can see what it is. I can see it wonderfully. All right, Danny. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that when I'm off too. The my full moon stuff. This one is in gold. I can see that wonderfully. I have no problem with that because now I know exactly what it's supposed to be. But the mo the most of the cards are in. That's okay. Most of the cards, it, they're in black. And then, um, oh, wait, is this an octopus? Oh, no, hold on. Dana, look away. <laughs> oh, not quite. This is a cuttlefish, which is, boy, it looks, it's kind of a squid thing. <laughs> and sand dollar. But it's really, there it is. You can, <laughs> still terrified, sorry. Um, But it's hard to see. So it's kind of, it's, you know, it's disappointing. I want to like this deck and I feel like I might reach for it sometimes. Yeah. Uh, Spoonbill and Labradorite. Oh, I love, look. See, look at, look how gorgeous that is. What a beautiful card really too bad that I that I don't know if I'm gonna reach for it very much because I don't want to be sitting in front of a client well all right now here's the honest to God's truth is probably I won't use these with clients too much anyways because this is a deck that I'm actually gonna have to use the book for because to me whatever this is not just because of this but snake and lemongrass so I can come up with some keywords for snake um, and lemongrass, but I'm, I want to know what the author thought. Like, why did the author choose to put those together? Is there stuff that they have in common that I'm not immediately off the bat seeing? So this is probably a deck that when I use it, I would use the book with it. So I'm not really going to use it for the most part with clients unless I get to know it really, really well. But even then, because Hawk and green fluorite they're both long <laughs> even then because it's hard to see uh the title i don't know if i'm gonna reach for it because i don't want to struggle to read it cute images i love the black background it makes the images pop a lot but not the titles Snake lights to hide in the grass <laughs> in more ways than one. Look at like super cute. I love the black makes the images pop. It makes the colors come out. It's too bad that you have to kill yourself to see that it says cactus. How do you come upon Kickstarter decks? Uh, well, if you go on Kickstarter, literally, and now I haven't done this in a month, at least over a month like two months. Um, no problem, Ayana. Hi, honey. Um, hi, Susie. If you go on Kickstarter and you uh, search tarot and oracle, like tarot, search, and then oracle, search, they will give you uh, all of the Kickstarter decks that are, well, they give you all of them, like whether they're active or not. Um, but you can choose to see just the active ones. I have not done that in quite a while um, because I had 
you know, Yule to pay for. The lettering should have been white. Yeah, or something. Something that I could see a little better. Because look at how gorgeous. This is, see now, this is in gray. And it's enough of a difference where I was like, oh, look, I can see that. It's Takeda and Blue Appetite. So if she didn't want, she, I assume, yes. If she didn't want to go to all white, um, then, you know, gray works. It's not shockingly different, but it stands out enough where I can actually read it. And because you buy me stuff to help me <laughs> with my radiation, maybe. I told you, Dana, that we all chipped in. And so it was like five bucks. Big deal. <laughs> uh, this is the Obsidian Oracle deck. Still telling. <laughs> Look, Dana. When I know that you're in pain and we might be able to all chip in like five bucks and get something that will help your pain, then I'm going to do that. And so is everyone else. And, you know, the people who couldn't, I made sure that they didn't feel guilty. And I said, you know, I'm sure we'll be able to get to what we need. Don't worry about it. Um, and, you know, make sure that you just give a little bit. And if enough of us told, uh, <laughs> mama told me to shut the fuck up when I complained, she spent money. Yes, I did. Because it wasn't just me. I spent five bucks. <laughs> and I tell you to shut the fuck up all the time. <laughs> silver. I write silver would be good. See, here's another gray one. I can see that. That's perfect. Crane and Sage. Look at, is that not a gorgeous card? Crane and Sage. I love that. And I can read it. I really, really wish the rest of them were like that. Poor Dana. She, you know, radiation is tough on your body and it's really tough on your skin. So her, her poor skin is just dying. So hopefully this CBD cream stuff is specifically made for radiation. So I'm hoping that it'll really help you out. Oyster and citrine. Silver would have gone really well. I, see, I think so too. That is a gorgeous combination. And again, I can see it. I love it. Poor Dana. See, now I'm feeling better because there's more cards that are in this silver. Silver, silver. Oh, one went, uh, they went back to black. All right. And again, what made her go back and forth? Why aren't they all in one thing? Mockingbird and Sunstone. I can read that. Really pretty images. See, I like this. Love this one, Skull and Moss. So it looks like about half of the cards maybe I can read. Salmon and Tangerine Quartz. You still can't read it? Uh-oh. Well, let's pick one and, and read it. Let's, okay, I like this one. Look at how that is. Hummingbird and Fog. I love that one. Yes, let's look at the book real quick. We'll look up Hummingbird and Fog. Let's see. Uh, initially began creating with the Obsidian Oracle. It's a very small project. I felt like the imagery and meanings might speak to a larger group of people and decided about halfway through painting the cards that I would produce the deck for everyone who loved it as much as I did. Thank you for taking this journey. Mm -hmm. uh, natural creatures and tokens take it out of their unusual or out of their usual habitat and put against black minimalist background just called me to them. Asked me to focus wholeheartedly to delve deeper and find out more about every aspect. Uh, you may want to dive into the deck. If this is you, head on over the card meetings or read with them intuitively. 
You may not want you may want to conduct an attunement ritual, getting to know each individual card. It's entirely up to you. Key points for each card are those elements that are found at the very core of the card. Nope. Nothing about the black. Nothing. Hi, Pat. All right, so Hummingbird and Fog. Let me look up Hummingbird and Fog and see what they say. And it's in alphabetical order, so that's nice. So this says, Hummingbird and Fog. Key points. Childlike clarity, understanding. Hummingbirds are joyful, playful souls that dart decisively. Their small size helping them navigate areas where others may fail. Their wings are so unique that they are the most maneuverable birds in the world, able even to fly backwards and hover for long periods. Fog comes when air temperatures fall, formed by vapor condensing into water droplets that remain suspended in air. Sometimes going back is the only way to move forward. Consider how past you would have dealt with this before disillusionment and disappointment set in. Ask yourself if repeating patterns are weighing you down, lingering hurt obscuring the way forward. Let hummingbird love and energy break the pattern. Open your heart and help you through this. Okay, I'm not going to say a word. What do you guys think? The hummingbird is gone with the wind, right? You would keep it as personal use. I hate to. That spoke to you? Really? Oh, good. I'm so glad it spoke to someone. Maybe I'll send it to you. Because I have to say, I, it didn't say a damn thing to me. <laughs> And I hate to, because I hate, I, I, I try not to do negative reviews, because, and I don't think it's negative, unless I totally hate it. You know, like, what's that stupid deck, Tarot of the Night? Um, I, And it's not that I hate it. Hope you didn't miss anything. You did not. I don't hate it at all. I just don't think I'm going to connect with this deck very well. There's Obsidian. The two swans, mom, the two sides of every personality. Exactly. So this is one that, you know, maybe I'll send to my, my second half of my brain. But I like to think it was saying search for something. Maybe part of it is that I don't feel like I'm searching for anything lately. Red-winged blackbird. I love the cards that I can read are very pretty, though. Look, there's the universe. <gasps> That's up. Oh, oh, wait. Is that gold? That one's in gold, I think. And that's a gorgeous universe card. <gasps> I love this one. Bat and Dolomite. They're very pretty images. We'll see. I'll give it a couple shots, you know. I'll pick another card that I really, really like. Oh, look, a helicopter. A maple seed. Oh, hel she actually called it a helicopter seed. And a bluebird. I can tell you're not connecting with it. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> yeah, I know, Dad. I, you must be like me. It's like, I don't know. I'm trying. <laughs> Canary and aquamarine. That's super pretty. I'm trying so hard. This is the card that I bought the deck for. This one right here. And because, and of course, it's a black one, so I can't read it. Cause I don't know how to say this, but I want one of these animals. This is why I bought the deck, because I saw this picture on Instagram. I 
I do. I do want to like it so much. I just don't. It's a Anna. No, axolotl. Axolotl. Yes, that. That, Trevor, that thing right there. <laughs> and uh, Marimo Moss. I love that little animal. And I want one so bad. They are so damn cute. And, I mean, how many oracles have whatever the hell that thing is in it? <laughs> Oxalotl. Oxalotl? Snake of the grass. <laughs> I love that. You have two? That's awesome. I'm like, I was so excited that it has had that in it. I so want to like it. All right. Oh, here we go. Because that's what I bought the deck for. Let's read Oxalotl and shit. And mm, Marimo Moss. See, look how long it takes me to see the damn card. How am I supposed to like it when I have to like concentrate on trying to find the word? <laughs> And hello, uh, Mystical Melissa, you wanted one for a while? Me too. Uh-oh, now wait a second. I thought they were in alphabetical order. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. Oxalotl. This deck is meant for Stephen, right? I'm thinking. <laughs> they don't do much, and if you get more than one, then they have to be separate. Really? They're so cute, but they just lay there and do nothing. Okay, key points. Fresh, yep, fresh perspective, clearing the way. Oxalotls are creatures that procreate with without metamorphosis. Remain, what? Without metamorphosis? She's saying without sex? Kind of like the 40 plus decks I want are meant for me. Right, Pat? Yeah, exactly. Uh, remaining instead in a larval state. It's a life of challenges. They are more delicate in this form, but actually live longer. Those that do age live shorter lifespans overall. So wait, they just remain in this larval state? And they choose when they get older? I'm so confused. Marimo moss is actually an algae that purifies the water in which it dwells and is held in high esteem culturally and spiritually, often given as tokens of love and luck. See, now I want Marimo moss. Sometimes the expected course of action is not the best one. And this is one of those times. Don't tie yourself down to a tried and tested approach. Instead, look at this from a fresh perspective. Consider how you would go about this if you were completely new to it, a child even. Where would that viewpoint lead you? Yep. Not doing it for me. Like to me, that what I just read, sometimes the expected course of action will never have anything to do with this card. <laughs> like, looking at it, I'm like, yeah, and? I just am not getting it. Which makes me sad, but it's okay. Not every deck is for every person, and I know that. Um, <laughs> this is going to drive me bad, you guys. Fairy Wren and Smoky Quartz. See, now, if you get it directly in the light, you can see it. But I have to really search for it. And it. I probably will never pick this deck back up again. Because it's just annoying me too much. So I'm going to send it to Steven. <sighs> <laughs> Stephen, who is going to, it's like having a childlike spirit and approach. I, so you're really liking this deck? I'm so glad, Stephen, because it's yours. <laughs> Leaf Insect. 
You could always use white out, right? I have to do something. I'll look at, see, now I love that leaf insect. That's really cool. She has different animals on here, which is why I was really excited about it because it's different than most of the animal kind of decks that I have. Ha, ah, one I can see. Butterfly and honeysuckle. Love it. It's too bad that I get to this one and I'm like, son of a bitch. Now I got to search for the damn thing again. <sighs> this is horrible. The text isn't centered. Oh, no, Deb. See, I didn't even notice that. Oh, it's not. It's not centered. Oh, wait, down here. Clear quartz and eucalyptus. It's bothering you, too. So, Stephen, do you really like this deck? I mean, do you want it? I hate to send you a deck if you don't want it. Strata. Okay, I can read that. Hi, Sue. What the hell kind of an oracle card has <laughs> Strata on it? All right. I, I don't know if I should keep going because I don't want to. It's hard for a creator to create their deck. I might change the name on this so that the creator never sees this video. Because <laughs> I would feel terrible if she saw the video. And I'm like laughing at it. Oh, I would feel so bad. <laughs> but I can't do it. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> All right, hold on. I got to read Strata. It's giving me a headache. <sighs> Key points. Learn from the past. Help the present. Strata is a geological phenomenon where layers upon layers of soil or rock have built up over many years to create a new landscape. These layers are formed out of a multitude of materials like gravel, shells, dirt, sand, bones, even fossils. Sometimes they've been broken into tiny fragments and sometimes they're undamaged, protected by the layers. Hold on. Here comes the oracle part because that was super boring. Who? <laughs> I shouldn't say it. I shouldn't say it. I got to stop. Who you are today is shaped by... Everyone you've been, everything you've done, people who molded you, all your experiences layered on top of each other. Some are stronger than others. Some formed patterns that are very much a part of your current life, but all have taught you. So dig deep and consider how your previous lessons will help with the current situation. So, all right, I get that one. I cannot imagine a more boring card, though. No, I'm, st I'm going to stop. <sighs> I know. Because here's the thing. I, there are a lot of good things about this deck. The past has made you who you are today. Exactly. See, Stephen, you totally connect with this. I, I, there's a lot of card. Look at, that's gorgeous. I like that card. It's centered. It's, I can see it. The picture is lovely. It's frog and amethyst. Totally get it. Eventually, I would really like this card. Hi, honey. But then, here we go again. The next card is Venus Flytrap. Cool to have that on a card. It's too bad I can't see it. Unless I'm like. <laughs> I know. I know. You know, it's a, a fear of mine, Dana. I have this awful image of me being who I am. And you know how I am. You, Dana, definitely know how I am. I have this awful image of the creator like coming on and crying because I don't like it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yes, yes, because I don't want to upset anyone because I'm like, I'm sorry. It's so cute. There's like really cute things about it. And then oh, there's some stuff I just am never going to be able to get over. All right, I love this card. Here's a really positive, uplifting, I adore this card, Bunny and Bubbles. 
How can you not like Bunny and Bubbles? Bunny and Bubbles go together better than any words I have said today. Bunny Bubbles. I think if I had a bunny, I would name him Bubbles. <laughs> and that's a cute bunny and cute Bubbles. See? Bunny Bubbles. They're so cute. I love this card. And I love the Oberos on the back. Ober There's something about Oberos that I'm very connected to. Thrush and Lapis Lazuli. I can read that. Love it. We all need bubble, bu <laughs> bubble bunnies. Bunny Bubbles. <laughs> Say it five times fast. Bunny Bubbles, Bubbly... <laughs> I can't even say it twice fast. Bunny bubbles, bunny bubbles, bunny bubbles. It, that sounds so weird. <laughs> I'll get a video of Bunny when he... Yes! When, yes, he plays with bubbles. Yes! Pink coral and fish. <laughs> I don't know about any two words. Curling iron and tilt over used earlier. Hey, I didn't tell anybody about that, Dana. You just did. <laughs> That one's not my fault. You said that. <laughs> I said nothing. Your secret was safe with me. <laughs> oh, I love you, honey. Pink coral and fish. Love it. Cute card. Can read it. I love it. Owl and elm. I can read that. No, you just said people would pay to see it. Well, that's true. It does sound like the title of a very upscale porn movie, I think. <laughs> oh, a very specific clientele anyways. Oh, shit. Here we are back at Cat and Moon. He didn't burn for JJ. Uh, is that one of those hairless cats? I have to say they freak me out a little. Not like freak me out. Like I just don't, I just don't get the point of them. Yeah, he is creepy. I, kitties are like fluffy and cute. And I just don't get the hairless cat thing. I don't understand. Robin egg. Got it. They feel weird. Do they feel weird? I don't think I've ever touched one before. That cat is about to attack. Right? Yeah, you feel like it's about to jump on you. Barn swallow. Pretty. See? Look at a lot of these are very pretty. Shit. Here we go. I need more light in here, but then I get all washed out. Woodpecker and... Be an adult. Be an adult. Uh, woodpecker and log. All right, I have to admit again, though, log, like not oak, not, not be a teenage boy. Well, you have woodpecker and then log on the same card. Like, I... <laughs> Yes, thank you. Exactly. Whoever the creator is must not have teenage boys. I can guarantee you that right now. Okay, now here's the cards I adore. And I bet you, yep, every single one of them I can see. It's log, it's big and heavy, it's wood. <laughs> it is a pecker. <laughs> Oh, you guys, it is so bedtime. Okay, here's the moon cards. 
I love these cards. Sing it. Uh, Blood Moon. Now, having said that, I do love these cards. The moon cards. I don't understand how they go with the rest of the deck at all. Like, I don't... Uh, astrology, Zodiac. Sorry. I t peck, 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 peck. <laughs> That's okay. Um... I, it's gorgeous. Look at there's Blood Moon. Oracle sending you unsolicited pecker picks. Ren and Stimpy log song. Oh, see that? I, yeah. I didn't even think of that. I love the moon cards. I don't understand how they. I guess it feels kind of disjointed. You know what I mean? Crescent Moon and Venus. That's a cool card to see them both on there. I love the moon cards. How do they go with the rest of the deck, though? What is the correlation? What what connects them? I just don't get it, I guess. Full moon. Love it. New moon. Yeah, there's no theme. Exactly. And I don't even see a theme, like, within the cards. Like, Woodpecker and log, like what is the theme there? Unless it's penis. <laughs> Stephen, please explain. Super moon. That's awesome. I love that you see this big portion of the moon, and you know that it's because the moon is so close. It's a super moon. I love the moon cards. They're awesome. Waning gibbous. Love it. Moon cards are spectacular. I wish it was a full deck of moon cards, right? Waxing Crescent. Waning Crescent. And Waxing Gibbous. And that's it. So, eh, I don't know. It's okay. Yeah, there's, I was just going to say that, Andrea, the Moonology deck is a full deck of moon cards that are really good cards. Are they coming at the end? Close, Thomas. Close. Logs come from trees, which woodpeckers peck. <laughs> All right, Dana, you know we love you, sweet pea. And be nice to your vajayjay. <laughs> Yes, we have Thomas and we have, well, I have determined that I am probably going to give this deck away because my old eyes cannot see when there's black on black. And some of the cards are not black on black, but it, I just can't do it. It's just too much. Um, for, for me, it's like an annoyance and I, it bugs me. Look at, love that. So, um, I think I'm going to end up giving this deck to Steven, I think. I have to see. Have a great night. But why is it that some are not black and black? I know, I, I'm not sure. It's about working with the resources we have, right, Stephen? I know. Hi, Donna. So I just, I don't know. I was, I was disappointed. That's all. We'll see. Um, yes, the moon, moonology, moonology deck, which I, for some reason, cannot find right at the moment, which is annoying to me because. I should be able to find it. It's because I can't see anything. My eyes are getting worse all of a sudden. And they were really good for over 10 years. Like, oh, actually almost 20 years now. I think 20 years ago I got my my eye, my LASIK eye surgery stuff. And my eyes were great. And now all of a sudden 
because of reading glasses, I think. My eyes are getting worse and I cannot see even far away what I used to be able to see. Like it kind of gets blurry. I like the Moonology deck a lot. I was going to pull it out if I could find it. But of course, I'm not going to be able to find it right now because I want it. So it will not be right in front of me. Most of my Oracle decks are still up here. Whoops, I'm going to knock everything over. Um, so I thought I'd had it, but. All right. Um, we are going to do uh, a video on shadow work this weekend. Haven't for about four years. Ooh, Shauna. Whew, I know when my eyes were changing a lot, I had to get them at least every year because they changed a lot. Anyways, don't forget. I'm sorry to yawn like that. That was horrible, you guys. Um, don't forget to... Um, do something for the new moon or I mean for the full moon when are you getting your home back I'm not sure <laughs> I'm really not sure but it'll start getting better now that Peter's home because he's much 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 better at organization than I am um But this weekend, shadow work this weekend, I've been reading um, Tarot for Troubled Times, which is, um, that is the book that I planned on using when we're doing shadow work. So I've been reading it because it really talks about how to use the tarot for shadow work. Confront your shadow, heal yourself, transform the world. Um, and it's really good. So I'm glad that I got it. I had not read it until now. Um, so I'm glad I pulled it out because it's um, very relevant. Um, I really want to start writing some dumb swords and sorcery story. I should really be editing something else, but really want to start cleaving ogres and twain with rippling muscularity. <laughs> Yay! Right? We all need, um, you know, rippling muscularity. <laughs> Uh, what else this weekend? Steven, my, my second brain, what else am I doing this weekend? I can't even remember now. I've started to try to write um, my video ideas so I don't have to um, count on my second brain all the time. <laughs> the Numinous, that's an awesome deck. I We... Uh, use that deck a lot when we're doing tarot studies so that's a great deck shadow video and cassie was oh yes cassie is next weekend perfect um my brain is fried today oh the giveaway don't forget to check out the giveaway you guys it's a very generous giveaway for her to have given us a deck to give away and this is was a great deck I'm really liking this deck. I've shuffled it quite a few times. Um, I pulled a couple cards out of it. Uh, so really good. Oh, I know what I was going to show you. This is so stupid. I can't believe I'm doing this. But look at, I don't know if you can see. Look, I have my, <laughs> I have my constellation socks on. Do you see them? <laughs> I just love these socks. I got these socks for my mother. And um, which, okay, again, I love my mother. We don't always get along, but she's really good at giving me presents. <laughs> they're Constellation socks and they're compression socks. Which, all right, I can't believe I'm old enough to wear compression socks. I keep going, I, do really, do I really? But they're really good for you when you have to stand all day long. They really um, make it so my, you know, my legs don't hurt. And my mom gave them to me um, for Christmas. And I love them because they're constellations. I know, compression socks. I can't believe I'm old enough to wear compression socks, though. I feel like an old lady. But not so bad because they're constellations. So I love them. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, you guys, I'm just going to sit here like an idiot squirrel for a while. So I'm going to get off and go um, look at the moon. I hope I can feel. Feels like being choked from the feet up. See, Jez, you must not be fat enough. <laughs> I hate to say this, but when you're a little bit uh, chunkier, it's, um, it's, I know it feels like that kind of when you first put them on, but then it keeps the blood from pooling at your feet, like when you're on your feet all day, and it really does help. It's silly, but it does. <laughs> all right, now before I make a complete and total fool of myself, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm so tired. I might go take a nap. What time is it? It's probably way past nap time. Oh, it is. I'm twice your size. Well, see, if you stand on your feet all day and you wear compression socks, then it's you'll see that there is some benefit. <laughs> um, Dana, I thought I was going to talk about Dana, but now she's not here. We got her some special cream because I had a bunch of us chip in. I don't know. I can't remember. I love you guys. I'm going to go now. Sorry that I had an hour-long video complaining and um, being extremely squirrely. I'll see you this weekend again.